time for a jam session. Comedian Kelsey Huff is joining us hello, again. Hello. We're crying. We're so happy to have her here. Oh, stop it. Uh, so, guys, this is an interesting one. Scientology is a mystery to many people, if not most. And according to the Daily Mail, the Church of Scientology purchased a 43-acre ranch in California, which has been converted into a safe haven and doomsday shelter for their elite members like Tom Cruise and John Travolta. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Safe, safe haven and doomsday. All in the same sentence. Yes, exactly. And yeah. John Travolta. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, what, what a combo. So, first of all, I'm like, how are they able to afford this? How is this church able to afford this? Obviously, they have a lot of celebrities. So now I'm also like, do they take up tithes and offerings like they do at like a regular Christian church or like a Baptist church? You know, mm -hmm. the pastor takes up tithes and offerings. And are they writing like million dollar checks in the tithes and offerings basket? <laughs> or how does that like how does that work? How do they get this? Yeah, money yeah. I think they're. Um, listen, everyone's afraid to talk about it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Right, because you might be on the list. We don't want to be on the list. I what mean, you're list? safe. You have a cape, but the rest yes. of us are, oh, are not. I'm on God's true. list. <laughs> I'm on God's list. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. What, there's, what's this list about? They're very powerful. You know, the word cult has been thrown around. And also, like, exploitative. Am I right? Like, yeah. they have celebrities. But what happens when you get on the list? Oh, so there was a Let's documentary. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk was, about it. There was a documentary about Scientology. People kind of um, that left the church were exposing what goes on. Oh my and God. so allegedly there's a lot of stuff that happens in the church. They kind of enslave people sometimes. Yeah. Um, I love it's like they kind of enslave. I mean, <laughs> nobody really knows. Yeah. But no one really knows, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's bananas. And then, okay, so if we have this, this um, place, a safe place to go mm -hmm. if there's like an apocalypse <laughs> or yeah. if... Well, you, not us. <laughs> well, okay, so they have it. Right. So how do they organize this? All the A-list celebrities line up first. Uh -huh. B-list celebrities, you're next. And then if you're past D, you don't fit. Yeah, like, it's the ultimate work? velvet <laughs> rope. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a virtual who rope. Who <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so enough of Scientology because it's Friday morning. We have to have right. fun. According to the website broadly.vice.com, there are 100 ways to make a woman's life more bearable. I could think of more than 100. <laughs> but here are the top five. <laughs> Remember it that overweight women exist and aren't all trying to get thin. Treat them with respect. There you I'll go. give it a clap for that. Give it a clap. Give it a clap. Before explaining something to a woman, ask yourself if she might already understand. Yeah, don't mansplain. All right, and withdraw your support from organizations that protect and employ rapists and abusers. I was about to make a joke about the White House. Anyways, close your legs <laughs> on public transit and never ever try to explain feminism to a woman. Yeah, those are some top good ones. Do you have do you have some like just uh, in your pocket that you usually go to? Like I don't like when this happens. I don't like when this happens. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't like when people don't ask me questions. So like, don't just ask my male colleagues. Ask me too. Mm -hmm. mm. Sure, 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 you know? sure. Yeah, the one that pops in my head is uh, well, I guess a life lesson for anyone, but empathy. Have empathy. How mm -hmm. would you feel if you were in that person's shoes? I right. feel like that's a question that all of us as humans need to ask, but definitely a man as a woman, like how would it feel if you were treated this way or talked to this yeah. way or someone uh, uh, was mean to you in this way? And yeah, so, it has always strange to me that there's a separation between like, well, men want this and women want this. It's like, but we're all humans. Like, mm -hmm. exactly. what about being a human being? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. like, that's yes. what this new wave is going to be about is that we're not like these two opposing ideals. Mm -hmm. It's just about about humanity, but right. you have a really interesting perspective because you're a female comedian, sure, sure. and there's not a lot of you. Yeah. So what is what are some of the things that you encounter that you would like to not? Wait, <laughs> you're a female? I know. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. you gotta get a cape. Thank you so much. I do need a cape. I mean, I've got velvet. Yeah, that's you know, <laughs> that's enough. something. But yeah, I think She's you so funny. you encounter. Uh, it's a different world. I mean, the com comedy is just a little circle of the planet. So you're yeah. running into those same things, and I have a lot of a lot of things from men and women. Like we didn't think women were funny or you're the only funny woman I know and I'm like that ain't true right like I mean I am pretty fabulous but <laughs> and like, funny yeah but there are so many women in your life humor is a coping mechanism so women have it women have it all over you know mm -hmm. and also a lot of times people are are like when I used to wear skirts they were weird about it you know they're like really? oh, interesting. yeah they're like Ugh, thanks for I, wearing that skirt on stage blah, blah, blah. you're like all right <laughs> Kelsey I really like you because you're just so <laughs> you're so unapologetically yourself mm. like you're quirky you, you're weird you make people <laughs> laugh yes, yes. but like it, it's so un unapologetic and you wear it well and it's like that confidence that just oozes off you and I think like that's what attracts people to you oh, it's thanks. awesome yeah. you should be my life to play coach. the song sisters are doing it for themselves <laughs> now <laughs> all right I love it.